Hi guys, it's Jeff at Slayers Racing. This video is about the Motaz uh, Mountain Hybrid tires, uh, the front and the rear. <clears throat> this is on a KTM 500. This is my buddy's bike, and uh, we just got back from the Colorado Backcountry Discovery route. We did 780 miles. Uh, the route's actually a little shorter than that. We did uh, an additional 50 miles on pavement just to get to a different town where we wanted to stay in a hotel and have some good food. But, uh, so this tire's got 780 miles on it. You can see it still has plenty of life left to it. It can easily do another ride of that same length. And I was really impressed with how it held up uh, in all the different conditions. You know, slick dry, a smooth dirt roads, extremely rocky roads, extremely rocky mountain passes. You know, we're up at over 12,000 feet several times. <clears throat> and, and then going down the highway at 65 miles an hour for an hour, you know, 50 miles down the road, uh, almost an hour. And uh, you know, this tire has a, a uh, Nitro Moose Platinum inside, which gives it a you know 12 to 13 pound feel. And for these types of rides, for dual sport rides, you know, last thing you want to be monkeying with is fixing a flat out in the middle of nowhere. So uh, we, we wanted to make sure we didn't have any tire issues, flat issues on this ride. So we both used Mooses. I'm, I don't normally use mooses on my trail bike. Uh, I really prefer the tubeless system uh, so I can regulate my tire pressure. But for this type of a ride where tire pressure is not as important, uh, I thought this was an excellent choice. So I really wanted to show you, you know, how it held up with that amount of miles on it. It, it handled well. It did well on the, the dirt and the pavement. I'll show you the front one up here. So let's see, you can see there is an arrow. I don't know if it's backwards directional or not. I think it is, but uh, anyhow, you should always check that on all tires before you mount them. Um, so you can see this front tire held up very well also. I mean, it, it can easily go another 700 miles on a dual sport ride. So if you're looking for tires for dual sport, I think this is an excellent choice. Uh, if you want something a little more aggressive, I'll. I'm going to do a video on the tires on my bike, uh, it'll be a separate video, but these Motaz uh, tires are, are definitely high quality. Uh, these work exceptionally well for uh, the job we chose them for, dual sport. And this is an 8100 on the front, uh, 8121 on the back, it's a uh, 120, 118. I really prefer the 8100 sizes over the 9100s. I'm not a fan of fatty tires uh, unless you're riding sand. If it's anything other than sand, I think uh, there's a lot better choices out there. The 8100 sizes will definitely work better in rocks and roots and all trail conditions that aren't sandy. So, um, you know, that, that extra width Keeps the bike, keeps the tire up and floating on top of the sand. That's why they work well in those conditions. And other conditions, the extra width makes them grab everything on the side of the trail and constantly pulling your your bike a, a different direction than you want to go. So consider the 8100s uh, for most applications. All right, guys, uh, I'll wrap this up. I just wanted to let you know what uh, these look like with high mileage on them. I, mean, I think 780 miles is pretty high mileage. And like I said, they can easily go double that. Uh, we didn't, we definitely didn't baby our bikes or try to get great mileage out of the tires. That wasn't our purpose of the ride. It was to have fun and be on the, on the gas. So please uh, like us on Instagram and, um, oh my God, Facebook. And uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. Throw us a bone when you can. Be a good trail ambassador. Get out there for some throttle therapy.
all for now.